Yo, what's happening everybody and welcome back to my channel. Ruben Brooks here helping you get into the best shape of your life so that you can live your best life. And in today's video, I'm going to give you one big idea on how you can boost your metabolism and help keep the fat off for good. If you're anything like me, you're the type of person that can just look at food. You don't even have to eat it, just look at food and you'll gain two pounds on the scale the next day. And if you get a good whiff of it, right, then you're probably gonna be up a half a pound the next day. Yo, check this out. I've experienced that same exact thing throughout my entire journey, well, at the beginning of my journey. And it was really because I thought I was genetically cursed when I first started my fitness journey. And the reason why is because I was working so hard in the gym. Man, I was doing so many crunches a day. I was literally in the gym every single day. I was watching my diet and I can still not lose weight. It was almost, I felt like it was impossible for me to lose weight. Meanwhile, my friends on the other hand are on the Ben and Jerry's diet, right? Eating ice cream around the tub and they're down two pounds. And I'm like, what the, what, what in the world? Why did I get cursed with these crappy genetics? No shade, mom and dad, but why did I get blessed <laughs> with these genetics while my homies over here got the got the got the genetics of the gods of, of aesthetics and they're just losing weight so quickly and so effortlessly? What's really going on? So I'll be real with you all. Half of it is genetics, but the other half is the metabolism. And what I've learned through my years of experience is that you can actually boost your metabolism. You can control your metabolism to do the heavy lifting for you. Actually, you can leverage your metabolism so it can work harder for you, so you can work less. And this is just working smarter and not harder. This is what I do when I, whenever I go into fitness competitions. This is what I do whenever I go to photo shoots. And I do it every single time. But you have to understand the one big idea and the big strategy, okay? And this may sound like a really big word, but don't let it confuse you. But the big word here is called metabolic flexibility. And basically what that means is you're able to burn fat for fuel and you're able to burn carbs for fuel. Now, why would you want to be able to burn fat for fuel and carbs for fuel? Because when you burn your fat for fuel, you're actually burning stored body fat. So this is going to accelerate fat loss, but also really boost the metabolism. And when we switch over to burning carbs for fuel, then that's where all the fun happens because you don't lose out on the foods that you actually enjoy eating. So this means that you no longer have to choose between the guacamole and the tortilla. You can have them both because your body will now be able to digest them both and use both fuel sources as energy. And this is what you want. This is the sweet spot. And when I found this out, it literally took my game to a whole different level. So real quickly, I want to go into a little bit more detail of why you will want to burn fat for fuel. Well, number one, if you're doing it the right way, the right way, then you're burning stored body fat for fuel. And that's what you want. This means that all the extra fat that you have on your body, you're now burning that as a primary fuel source. And number two, if you've never done this before, this is like lighting a match right on your metabolism. And you'll see results like this. It's literally rapid. And some people think that's just water when you start burning fat for fuel. But no, that's not really what it is. Yes, you do get rid of some water, but once that water is depleted and then you tap into your fat stores, yo, this is where the magic happens. And I kind of view it like this. I have a car analogy for burning fats for fuel, which would be something like a Tesla, right? Awesome car, great car. And then carbs for fuel, which would be something like a Corvette, Ferrari, high-end, class car, whatever you want, great car. Now, two awesome, really good quality car. But one of these cars is gonna burn through their gas a lot quickly, right? Even though it's a great car, it's gonna burn through that gas a lot faster, and you're going to have to refill the tank over and over and over again because it's gonna give you quick bursts of energy and then deplete. Meanwhile, on the other hand, you have the Tesla, the battery pack Tesla that has a long reserve of energy that's still fast, that will give you that speed, but will still hold up throughout the entire day of long lasting, clean, sustaining energy. 
Now, both great cars, but when you look at the paper in black and white, one is gonna be just a little bit better than the other. However, you need both. So your body is like a hybrid of two great, awesome cars using your fat for energy and using your cars for energy. And when you can use them both, then you no longer have to worry about getting depleted. You have your fat source to back you up and so you can have that long, clean, lasting energy throughout the entire day. So before I go into detail about ways you can improve your metabolic flexibility, I want to talk about what causes poor metabolic flexibility. You see, your body is wired to be a fat burning machine. However, the modern diet really disrupts your ability to burn fat for fuel and carbs for fuel. So one of the reasons why you may be experiencing poor metabolic flexibility is due to the standard American diet, which is you just been eating way too many carbs, for a long duration of time at a high frequency of doing both. Now, what this does is it desensitizes our cells and this can make you insulin resistant. Now, insulin resistant makes it so much harder for you to burn fat. So when we switch over and start burning fat for fuel, this actually desensitizes our cell and makes fat burning so much easier for you. And remember at the beginning where I said if you're the type of person who could just look at food and gain two pounds on the scale the next day? Well, yeah, this is because you're probably insulin resistant and are learning how to become more insulin sensitive will be your key to unlock the door for more results. So y'all, if you want my help personally to put everything together to match your lifestyle and your busy schedule, then all you have to do is reach out to me Ruben at RubenForceFitness.com or click the link in the description. And guys, as a bonus for watching this video, I have a link in the description for the Metabolic Flexibility Guide. Be sure to download that, like this video if you got any value from it, comment below for next week's topics, and I'll see you next week. Peace and improve.